General Revenue Service, how can I help you? Hello, I've got a missed call from this number. Oh, wait, did you just got a missed call or were you talking to someone else through this number? Uh, well, um, I was talking on the phone and uh, uh, and I noticed that this came through as I was talking to another person. So I All just right, one that back. case. Okay, well, in that case, can you verify me with your name so that I can get some more information about the call and some more information about the person you're talking to as well? Uh, well, um, my name is Edward. Sorry, is that your last name or your first name? Oh, that, that's my first name. Uh, my last name is Smithson. Sorry, can you repeat it for me? Smithson? Edward Mitson, is that correct? Uh, no, my surname is Smithson. S M I T H S O N. Alright. Now, can you verify me with the number? The, could, could you repeat that? You were breaking up a moment. Alright. Can you verify me with your number in which you got a phone call? Oh, uh, my number or your number? Your number. Okay. My number is uh, 213-214-0576. Is this the same number you got a phone call? Uh, this, this is this is the number. So you mean to say it's the same number you've got a phone call, is that correct? Uh, yes, yes. Alright, hold on for a second. Okay. Yes, yeah, thank you for online. Hello? Yes, yeah, thank you for online. Alright. Okay, Mrs. Edward, I can see here that there is a criminal lawsuit filed against your name by the IRS. So are you aware about this or not? No. When did this Well, in that case, this happened after the audit done under your name. So did you file your taxes by yourself or did you file your taxes through someone else? No, I always have an accountant to do my taxes. Okay. Well, in that case, I will be providing you with every information about the call. And let me just give you a quick information on that as well. That Iris never did recommend that a person that they can file their taxes to a tax person, like a third party, an accountant, a CPA, or a national block, because Iris directly deals with the tax person. That is you, all right? Okay. So first of all, do you have a pen and a paper? Uh, yes, I have a pen and a paper. Okay. You can write down my name. That is Officer Mark Anderson. Mark. Yes, and my badge ID number is I R M seven zero eight nine. I R N seven zero eight nine. Yes, okay. that's correct. And I have a case file number as C P one O one seven one. C T one O one. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. So first of all, let me tell you that this line has been federally recorded and monitored by the headquarters of the IRS, the county sheriff department, and the local authority of the state. So please do not interrupt me and listen to me very carefully. And once I'm done, I will give you a fair enough chance to speak and raise your questions if you have any. All right? Okay. Okay. Okay, so as for the system and documentations are concerning, we have conducted an audit on the tax files between the year 2010 to 2016, and we found out that there was a miscalculation while you were filing your taxes, and it does not match to the tax records that we have. Now, according to Section 101, the amount is still outstanding under your name. For the reason, IRS has now decided to recollect the amount from you by involving Section 101. H O, which means your driving license will be cancelled, your social security number will be blacklisted, IRS will also mark a lien on your property, 
and all genome bank accounts will also be confiscated and frozen. Because the outstanding balance for the past conducted audit and miscalculation sums up to $4,376, that includes your legal charges and the late fees that have still been unpaid by you. So now, as this is a federally recorded line, I will be needing a fair answer from your side. So did you do this intentionally to defraud the IRS, or was it an honest mistake? Uh, could you just repeat the amount at the moment? Alright, I can see here that the miscalculation has been done up to $4,376. $4,376, okay. Okay, so as I was asking, since this is a federally recorded line, and this will be played inside the courthouse at the public against you or in your favor, so I need a fair answer from your side. Now, did you do this intentionally to defraud the IRS, or was it an honest mistake? Uh, well, I'm a bit confused, to be honest. Um, I, I'm, you said it was 2010 to 2016, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Yes, I've only been living in the United States since 2014. Okay. So, are you absolutely sure that it was my information you brought up? Yes, I can see that because, as you know that, since IRS conducts an audit for past five to six years, and the miscalculation don't hit towards for all the years, because this miscalculation will always hit towards for the years that the miscalculation has been done. So it might be on 2014, 2015, or 2016. All right. Okay, it's just so that I wasn't living in America from 2010 to 2014. So yes, um, I can see here that. That's Okay. And as you know that, this miscalculation has been done from those years, and, I, and let me just tell you this, let me just clear up for you that mis uh, an audit, we don't conduct an audit for the past three years, two years, or four years, but we directly conduct an audit for the past five to six years. So, since uh, you were in America in 2014, the, uh, the audit has been done between the year 10 to 16, that is 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, and 2016, alright? Okay, so it's uh, whatever time between 2010 and 2016 that I've been living in America. Is that correct? Yes. You okay. Yes, that's correct. So, right now, as I was asking, let me just clear it up again. So, did you do this intentionally to defraud the IRS, or was it an honest mistake? Um, uh, well, I'm going to go with an honest mistake, because as a new migrant into this country, I'm not exactly uh -huh. sure about uh, all the tax details. Okay. Well, in that case, what you can do right now is that you can go ahead and take this matter inside the courthouse and fight against the IRS by hiring a criminal attorney of which you will charge you for almost up to $6,000 to $7,000 and if you win inside the courthouse then that's well and good enough for you but if you lose inside the courthouse then IRS will sue you for almost up to $75,000 including the outstanding amount that is under your name and if you are not able to come up with that kind of amount in a specific time then IRS will sue you for almost up to 3 to 4 years and you will be put behind the bus uh, like I said for 3 to 4 years and the second thing would be that I can just go ahead and have a talk with my general attorney and see what I can do for you by having a look on your past records. So do you want to take this matter inside the courthouse or shall I just proceed further? Uh, I think if you proceed further because that seems like a lot of money and a lot of time behind bars and uh, as a new migrant I don't really want to be spending too much time in the jail. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll have a word with the general attorney, and in the meantime, I'll have to check on your past records as well, and I'll update you, alright? Be on the line, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you for online. Okay. Okay, ma'am, I wasn't aware about the second option as well, but having a, having a check on your past records, we found out that you are a law-abiding citizen, and because of that, we will be providing with OIC that is offer in compromise, and in this OIC, you will be following some simple procedures. So in this procedure, you have to clear up your outstanding amount. So would you be able to do that? Um, is that the amount $4,376? Yes, that's correct. Oh, I see. 
So would you be able to clear up the amount? Uh, yes, I think so, yes. Okay, well in that case, how do you have the amount with you right now? Um, well, uh, I don't have it in cash, but I do have it on a debit card. Okay, well in that case, I'll have to go ahead and punch it in your documentations as well, and have a word with the courthouse as well. So can you just spell out your... Can you just spell out your first name and your last name, so I can correct it all up? Oh, yes, uh, my first name is Edward. Alright. Yes, uh, do you need me to spell that out? Yes, that's correct. Oh, I, um, I need you to spell out. Well, it's uh, E for Edward, and okay. N for November. Alright, hold on for a second, and I'll just update this information in the courthouse as well. Alright, be on the line, okay? Okay. Alright, ma'am. I punched down all the information on the documentations as well and all this and all the letters and all the documentations along with the certified letters and the paperwork are lying inside the courthouse now as well. So right now you say that you are able to clear up the outstanding amount with you and it's all not in cash but it's on your debit card as well through this recorded line, is that correct? Correct. Okay. Well in that case I will be go ahead and transferring this line to my senior officer so that he can guide you further in how to make this and how to clearing up your outstanding amount and cancel your S1 and put your case on hold, alright? Okay. Okay. Thank you, hold Your call has been transferred to the Oscar White Senior Officer with the Internal Revenue Service. Can I have your first and last name? Yes, uh, my name is Edward Smithson. Okay, and what's your current zip code, sir? Uh, 80928. Okay, give me a moment. All right, Mr. Smithson, I just got the details from my associate that you want to resolve this issue outside the courthouse. Yes. Okay. Are you able to clear your outstanding balance? Uh, yes, I have the money on a debit card. Okay. In which bank you are banking with, sir? Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo. Okay, so first of all, uh, we are not able to accept your debit card, credit card over this recorded line. So, first of all, can you verify me your phone number on which you receive a call from our site? It's uh, 213-214-0576. Okay. Give me a moment. Okay. It's not your number, sir. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, that's num that's the number I've called to get to you. Sorry about that. Uh, my number is uh, nine seven eight eight nine seven three three zero zero. Nine seven eight eight nine seven three three zero zero. Yes. Can you repeat that one more time? Nine seven eight eight nine seven three three zero zero. Great. <coughs> so you don't have a cash? We need a cash, sir. We are not going to accept a debit card or credit card. Well I could get the cash out of an ATM. Would that be okay? Okay. Huh? Yeah, that'd be okay, sir. Okay. So go to the ATM, withdraw the cash, and let me know. I will send my officer over there to get collect the cash. What, from the ATM? Yes. Does he know which ATM I'm going to go to? Yes, you need to provide me the address. Oh, okay. Um... My address is uh, 1554 Russell Street, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Okay. 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 Do one thing. Yes. Try this thing to someone else, okay? You know that I'm your father in this thing. That's what I'm telling you, I'm your father. Don't teach your father how to fuck, okay? What? 